Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cleaning Excel data series where we are updating a table of data to make it look a whole lot more presentable using a bunch of Excel tips and tricks. Don't forget, if you like what you see, please click the like button or subscribe to the channel and see the other tutorials. So let's get started with lesson number two, changing column sizes and hiding columns. So the first thing is in column E, I can see easily that the data in the cells has been cut off because the cell is too small and we want to increase that column size so we can see everything in that column. So what we'll do is we'll highlight column E and we'll drag it to make it a bigger size. And now we can see everything in that column. As you can see though, we've actually made the column too big. So another tip that you can do that does it automatically to fill to the biggest size is get on the end of the column E and you can see my cursor and double click and what that does is resize the column to match the largest data in the inner cell. Really good trick, really handy and makes the data a lot more presentable. The second part of the lesson is simply to hide columns that we don't want to see very common question we get asked is when we have a big table of data we don't want to see everything and we just want to remove one of the columns but not delete the information in case we need to see it another time. So in this instance we've got the day of the week as well as the date and we don't really need the day of the week so we're going to hide that column and to do this we'll click on B, highlight the entire column, right click somewhere in that highlighted column and you'll have a pop-up menu and down below you'll have hide and now you can see we've got the table and it's hidden the column and you can see it's hidden because the row the, the, the column headers now have A and C and B is missing if you want to unhide the column very simply highlight over the two columns where the column B is missing right click again and select unhide so we'll just hide again column B right click hide and there you go so that was lesson number two in the cleaning excel data series we have a bunch more tips and tricks further in the series come back again and check them out